We are ready to start. And one of them will be finished. night for the past four weeks Halfwit's taken on a solitary opponent, dispensed of them neatly and lived to fight another day in the house. But this week he's got four of the little rascals to spar with. Marcus was nominated by his housemates plain and simple. The other three Charlie, Dogface and Chris decided that it would be a good idea to discuss nominations Well, Big Brother caught wind of their indiscretion by watching them and listening to them on the telly coming. Uh, and so then they were punished with Big Brother offering them the chance to save themselves from facing the public vote. Go about your business without making a peep. Sadly, they did all make a peep. And so here they are on eviction night, all up for the boat, vote boat, and staring the possibility of moving house firmly in the eye. Now, housemates should remember careless talk costs dearly. And tonight, one of them may have to pay big time. Now, which one of the famous five are you going to make go bust? To evict Charlie, call 09016 16 at 1604. That's 09016 16 16 04. To evict Dogface, call 09016 16 16 15. 09016 16 16 15. To evict Halfwit, call 09016 16 16 05. That's 09016 16 16 05. To evict Chris, call 09016 16 16 07. 09016 16 at 16 07. Or to evict Marcus, call 09016 16 16 09. 09016 16 16 09. Calls cost 35p from a BT landline. Calls from other networks may vary. And from mobiles are going to cost considerably more. And details and terms at channel4.com forward slash big brother. Now look, line's going to close a little bit later on in the show. Just make sure you dial those numbers carefully, please. So it's the aftermath of the Siervash Noreen row, where shockingly Noreen was accused of acting like a bunny rabbit. <laughs> Dear 36, 10.27 a.m. Chris, Carly and Dogfierce are in the kitchen. Oh. Yeah, awkward day today, is it? I know. Oh, yeah. Sia Vash and Marcus are by the pool. Last night, Noreen and Sia Vash had an argument after Sia Vash alleged that some housemates had said Noreen was like a rabbit, hopping from group to group. Come on, that is 110% like trying to get me in shit. It's like no, no other way to look at it. It's not that. Like it. It's more that she put her paranoia in front of anything else. Fuck. I think you no, might get one. in trouble for going on about nominations and all that, though. No? What did I say? So I just hope that we'd go up against each other. Yeah, and nominate me and blah 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 blah. No, I said I think that they will. I do know for a fact that they will all nominate me now. So it's just I'm not trying to influence anyone's decision. I just assume that they will all do. Mm. If I go, I'm gone. If I stay, then the room should be worried. Some of the housemates are in the living room discussing last night's argument. This was in the context of a conversation about uh, friendship, friendly advice, you know, and better understanding. And the way you responded to that was by making this into a massive No, because it's instigated, it's putting thoughts in my head about people that mightn't have even done something. Yeah, oh. OK, so it's not like Siavash was going around accusing people of being yeah, murderers. The people, that he, the names that he said, he said that he never even said that and he did say that. Well, I have no reason to dis... I have no reason to think that Siavash is lying and shit-stirring. I think that's not his style and that's definitely not what that conversation was about. All right, so... Um, OK, well... That's your opinion. 
Um, and if you want to, if you're interested in exploring opinions, mm -hmm. then the way to do that is not to sort of everyone gang up on Sir Bash in the bedroom. I didn't mean it to be like that. I was asking everyone you a question in general. You even wanted me to gang up on Sir Bash. No, I wanted you to tell the truth. I did tell the truth. I'm not sure you did. Of course I did. Ten fifty-seven a.m. Sia Vash and Halfwit are in the living room. Do you know who, what group of people are the most deceitful by far? No. Nope. Um, beautiful women. What's that? Beautiful women. Are beautiful women. Lie more than anyone else. Chris and Lisa are in the garden talking about Noreen. I think sometimes, sometimes she can be absolutely the same with me and I can feel like I'm her best mate, and the next day I can feel like she doesn't yeah. <laughs> want to talk to us. Thank you. Move it. Mm. Uh, game plan, game plan, game plan, mm. game plan. I think Seabash isn't really. I think he's, he's caught up with. He gets caught up in conversations yeah. and things. Yeah, yeah. But if I see you, I've like me, Charlie, so for, say Friday then. They fucked up big time. Yeah. Mm -mm. Noreen and Marcus are by the pool. Have you come over here to talk or just lie down? Huh? Have you come over here to talk or just lie down? I don't know. I don't think I can apologise to you because I'm so angry over everything. I don't think I have anything to apologise over because the only thing I have to, to apologise is how I dealt with it, but then I don't think I would have still dealt with it any different. <sighs> like at the end of the day, Sirius is just a liar to me. He said something to me and then didn't admit saying it again, like so. That's just lies to me. Sirash. Oh, cool, uh, honestly. Uh, uh, I don't want to talk about it. Don't. Okay, just I mean, I was just curious, um, like, just to kind of, just to understand things. Mm. For, 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 like, By the way, thank you so much for, it was, you didn't have to get involved, but thank you for getting involved. I know Maureen wanted me to get uh, involved on her side, so... Yeah, <laughs> I just did Yeah. I just like, didn't want, yeah. I, the whole point I was making was not yeah. to get anyone involved. Yeah. Sorry you had to get involved, but well, thank you. No, it's okay, man, at any time. Will not be... Like if, if everyone's like attacking you, you know, mm. bloody hell, honestly, yeah. You know. Like from today, I'm not going to consider her a close friend, mm -hmm. but till last night I did. So anything that she said to me the yeah. last night still counts as stuff that was said it's between like, friends. <laughs> it's like friendship triangles. He's just a slimy little two faced dickhead towards me. I just don't understand how you can see it. I can't believe you actually told me to tell, say sorry to him when I was thinking about it. Oh, what, if I was in your position, I would apologise for doing it that way. I'm not going to apologise until he admits he said it. When he admits he said it, then I'll apologise and say, well, I shouldn't have went around it that way. Fair enough. And do you think he's going to admit he said it? Nope. Well, a few details have changed already since last night. Well, tell me then. Hmm? Tell me. Well, like, how... Well, uh, well, I'm not going to talk unless you come over here for a start now. What details changed? Well, when... I do remember that when we were talking, he said to you, oh, you do realise that there's a nickname about you going on behind your back? Mm hmm And now he's not saying that. He's mm -hmm. saying, oh, I think there is. Yeah. He's going to make sure that he's going to lick their asses now every single day until they think that he didn't say that. Like, and that's bullshit. What I say is that people talk like that about one person, they, they will talk about like that about everyone. And I know that Carly has spread a load of shit about a few people in here. Just, you know, like Freddie. She's been out here before orchestrating, you know, Lisa's using Carly all the time. 
a Carly's own mouthpiece now. That's why I always say she's always gathering information and feeding it into Carly and sending her off out into battle. Don't think for one second that they wouldn't no, I know say that. them I know. things about people. Yeah, I know. What pisses me off is Noreen knows if she really interested in the trip, she wouldn't have gone about it like this at all. One theory could be that it's a game plan and she is turning people against me mm -hmm. and it's completely fine. Yeah. Because I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But she really wants to win. By doing this, oh, yeah, she wants no, to win. she can sort of she can sort of snake her way to the final if she wants. And I'm still I don't give a shit. I still think she's a nice girl. She's just afraid of going up. And mm. I think she knows that if she goes up she'll be in deep shit. Yeah. And then he liked, and she liked, and then he said, and then she said, and then he liked, and I'm not going to talk to her anymore. See you after the break. Hello, and welcome back to Big Brother. And we have one thing on our minds. No, it's not that. It's how to ruin someone's summer. The hunt is on and five housemates are fair game. And for Halfwit, it's like water off a duck's back. But tonight, Charlie, Dogface, Chris and Marcus are about to test the murky depths of eviction night. So who are you going to sink? To evict Charlie, call 09016 16 16 04. That's 09016 16 16 04. To evict Dogface, call 09016 16 16 15. 09016 16 16 15. To evict Halfwit, call 09016 16 16 05. 09016 16 16 05. To evict Chris, call 09016 16 16 07. 09016 16 16 07. Or to evict Marcus, call 09016 16 16 09. 09016 16 16 09. Okay, we've got more from the house now. As the housemates speculate, who'll be given their reality P45 tonight? Sivash is having quite a few uh, little talking uh, about nomination issues. 1.22 p.m. Most of the housemates are in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Rodrigo! <laughs> Le no, leave the legs free. I, I, I would. Yes. Rodrigo, what? why do you like doing that to people? <laughs> Is it a it's thing? massage. It's, I think it's a sexual thing for him. <laughs> I hope not, because he does it with his mum. <laughs> God, I hope, I hope not. <laughs> Halfwit and Marcus are in the living room. Oh, I think I might do some bust out some reps today. Haven't done any weightlifting yet with my short hair. <laughs> <laughs> it seems silly. <laughs> uh, and I ain't fooling. Bum, 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 ba -da, boom, boom, boom. I ain't fooling. Carly is in the diary room. Last night there was a war in this house. Um, Apparently, Siavash had said that he thinks that certain people think that Noreen's a rabbit and hops from group to group. They were arguing full on. Noreen said that Siavash said that, Siavash says that Noreen said that, and they're head to head. I think they should just drop the whole thing, grow up and just get on with it because three of my mates are up for eviction tomorrow and I don't want them to have a bad day today. My inkling is that Charlie, Chris and Sophie are safe. Charlie has not got a bad bone in his body. He has the odd argument with Rodrigo but they're like brothers. He is, I think he's fine. Chris is lovely. Fair enough, he was a womaniser before he came in, but he's came in here, he's met Sophie, and he's a, wee, he's a wee gentleman, he's a wee sweetheart. So, I think he's fine, he's always up for a laugh. Sophie is like, I love her to pieces, I absolutely love her. If she went, I would be so, so upset. She's so nice, and she's just lovely. She's, um, she's really gullible, and 
She just, she likes to have a laugh and she's sweet. So I can't see why anybody would want them out. Halfwits died the whole time and he, he, he normally absolutely bugs me, annoys me to hell, but he hasn't bugged me this week. That's what I was saying then. I was thinking to myself, why is he not annoying me? But it's because he was just chilled out. He was just sitting there listening to people's conversations, nodding his head he was fine. So I don't think he's going to go. I think Marcus is going to go. I want Marcus to go. I'm not going to lie. So I hope I'm right this week. Hope. 3.38 p.m. Marcus and Halfwit are in the living room, talking about Halfwit's involvement in last night's argument. See, mm. that's the type of thing that can make you win the whole lot. Really? <laughs> as long as you don't do anything to spoil it. Yeah. Because that was just some true heroism. <laughs> Annoying. I am not a liar. How dare you call me a liar? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. fed him to the wolves. You should be ashamed. I have nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> I have no doubt in my mind that Siamaj is telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I have no reason to doubt that man. <laughs> 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 Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. I just getting a bit bright for him now with his fucking new hair, isn't it? Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. Starting to be a cocky, cocky, kept bringing it coming back, I can see. Yeah. He's yeah. mostly laughing. I went, I need this for my water, I'm going for it. And he looked at me as if I thought, oh, he, he wants another. He's getting strong again. I thought, fucking start me again. One minute I could suffer people. I know, oh, but he's been alright this like week, fucking... though, and then he's starting to slowly creep back week. in. Yeah. 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 Everyone said, like, yeah, everyone was going, oh, he's really good, I'm really good, and everyone was getting on great, and then that happened no. last night. No, I'll tell you something, I know now, I fucking know from the first time, I'm not what I've always fucking thought, and I'm sticking to it, no-one's changing my fucking mind if, if, they've cha if they've changed the way they're I'll acting, it's down to the fact that the game's not working, so they need obviously to change Obviously not, it. yeah, obviously not. The people that have been the same all the way through, they're the ones who are the same. Just be yourself, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's all you can be yourself. Big Brother has called Siavash to the diary room. How are you today? Uh, I'm cool. As I'm sure you have seen, I got into like a little argument with Noreen somehow last night. Um, I trusted her as a friend and give her some, I thought, good advice on things. And she sort of threw it right back in my face. I don't know what she could have benefited. Well, she, I do know, because she wants to just go all the way to the end without being off for eviction, uh, which I think is pathetic. I think everyone should go off for eviction to see if the public actually wants them in the house. See you, Ash. Big Brother just needs to talk to you about one more thing. Oh, God, I'm off for eviction. See you, Ash. Yeah. This morning, at 1.45am, yeah. in a conversation between you and Noreen, yeah. you said the following. Bitch. See you, Ash. Right now, right now, if you've got the fucking guts, let's do this, me and you. Next week, we nominate ourselves for fucking eviction. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm a fucking liar. Everyone's going to fucking kick me out. Yeah. Noreen, you can't talk about nominations. Nominations got nothing to do with it. Siavash, yeah, I will right now. I say put me up for nomination. If they keep me in, then you should be worried about the time you fucking go up. Yeah. It is strictly against the rules for housemates to discuss their nominations with each other. Yeah. This includes asking fellow housemates to nominate you. Therefore, yeah. you must be punished. It's fine. As the voting lines have already opened for this week's eviction, you will receive your punishment at some point after this Friday's eviction. Do you understand? Fair enough, fair enough. They're going to put me up anyway, so they might as well put me up. <laughs> I wonder how much tea you would have to drink to turn into tea. <laughs> because surely if you drink enough of it, it must permeate every fibre of your being. 
if you just keep drinking it, <laughs> it's got nowhere else to go. You know, it would it would eventually just seep through all your like stomach lining and all your organs until you would actually become tea. <laughs> yep. Do you want to hear something interesting? Yeah. Really interesting. I else spins at a thousand miles now? No. Oh. I'm off for eviction this week. For talking. Yeah. Yeah. Are you kidding? No, seriously. Seriously? Yeah. But now the good thing is that they said like not this week, next week. Well, they said they're going to punish me, but I'm assuming it could be something else, be quiet or something for that. Now, the good thing with that is... Well, don't, don't tell anyone, just in case they waste their whatever, 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 blah, 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 blah. No, th yeah. No, I do tell everyone. Yeah. <laughs> more people would vote. Yeah. No, I'm not going to say. Actually, I know, actually, yeah. Well, whatever, that's your... Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If, if, if people know not to vote for you, then the votes will yeah. go elsewhere. Mm. Mm. I mean, Who wants to hear something interesting? What? My wish has been granted. I'm up for eviction next week. Oh, right, yeah. What? Seriously, next week. Because I said, like, to Noreen that we should put ourselves up. Me and you should put ourselves up. They called you. you That's what I'm on. Have they just called just you up this week as well? Of Not this week, they said. Next week. That's what that's next week. Oh. Oh. So you're just you? Just me. Yeah. Eight, eight, two other people you vote for as well. So, so bring it on. I'm up. My wish has been granted. No more free ride. If I stay, I will hold my head up. I think if, if you and I stay this Friday, yeah. then the coming weeks are just going to be awesome. Yeah, mate. Because it's like, it, it just winds them lot up yeah. so much. Just us and our talking. And, yeah. you know, just how like, the truth is just chipping away at the mm. bullshit. And, yeah, and, and so many people are realising it, and they're like, "Well, the battle lines are drawn. We can't change. Yeah. And even though we thought that strength in numbers was going to carry us through, yeah. it's really not. Because yeah. it's like they're starting to stumble and chinks in the armour and stuff like yeah, that. And yeah. like, we're just here. I mean, basically just sitting down all day, just talking and having a laugh. Yeah, yeah. Who's having Who's having a laugh today? Who's mm. enjoying it? Mm. You know, like, who's have, as, as well? You know, mm. like they <laughs> must be fucking hating it. <laughs> 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 strength in numbers, Chris, Charlie, and Dogface. Do they think that strength in numbers is going to carry them through? Do they? Do they? Do they? We're going to have to find out very soon. See you off the break. To Big Brother and the sixth eviction of 2009. Okay, tonight five reality all stars are fighting to stay in the game, and the only thing that can stop them is you, your phone, and your cruel intentions. So, fancy snuffing out someone's dreams on a mere whim? To Vic Charlie, call 09016 16 16 04. That's 09016 16 16 04. To Vic Dogface, call 09016 16 16 15. That's 09016 16 16 15. To Vic Halfwick, call 09016 16 16 05. That's 09016 16 16 05. To Vic Chris, call 09016 16 16 07. That's 09016 16 16 07. Or to Vic Marcus, call 09016 16 16 09. 09016 16 16 09. Okay, we're going to nip back to the house now, and Big Brother provides the house with some face paints for entertainment. And Charlie has his first try at a pussy. Seven sixteen p.m. Most of the housemates are in the bedroom. It's been one hour and thirty-one minutes since Big Brother delivered housemates shopping. As part of their shopping list, housemates purchased a mystery bargain of face paints for one penny. It's awful. I'm asking if like a serial killer. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks funny. 
Oh, it looks Dude. like you're a killer in a film. Look what? Like a killer in a film. Like what? Like, oh, like no. I'm joking. <laughs> no, no, not a killer. No, not a killer. Lisa and Carly are at the bus stop. I'd love something to happen. Something exciting. <laughs> eh? Because we're getting bored. It is, eh? It's like same routine. We've got a task, we've got this, we've got well, that. And I just think the, the ice is... People are really, really like, just like, now and... Aye. New people would totally change the dynamics of the group. Oh, God. Halfwit has been called to the diary room. Hello, Halfwit. How are you? Oh, I'm very good, thank you. I'm, I'm in a great mood. Having a very chilled day, just hanging out, talking, laughing. I'm really happy about the face paint. So I'm a bit tired today, but um, I'm still really enjoying them and I'm sure we'll have lots of fun with them, um, you know, as, as time goes on. Thank you very much. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Charlie's making me into a cat. Meow. He's not finished me yet, but um, yeah, so far so good. Mm, I'm intrigued. That's what I think about the face paints. Hmm. How do you feel about this Friday? I uh, I feel personally uh, rather confident that I'll be staying. Uh, but if not, um, as, as I always say, uh, I, I'm happy to go, I'm happy to stay. I'm very happy that it's not just me and Marcus up. I really hope that uh, me and Marcus will, will both be staying. Um, the best case scenario for me tomorrow night would be Chris is going home. Definitely. Uh, I think if Chris goes home, uh, like a house of cards, uh, a lot of the, the power structures that have been laid down and battle lines and so forth and game plans will just, will just fall to pieces. Um, Chris, Carly and Lisa um, form a, a three people, a triad. Sophie only goes along with that group because of Chris. So with, with Chris gone from that group, Sophie is also gone from that group. Sophie will gravitate towards... Uh, the people she's next closest to, which is uh, Rodrigo, Marcus, even Siavash, and away from, from Lisa and Carly and their influence on the house. So that's definitely my best case scenario and I think it'll be the most interesting outcome uh, for the social dynamics. At 10pm, Siavash is in the living room. Dog Fierce, Chris, Charlie and Halfwit are in the bedroom. Here we go. Just keep your eyes shut now for now. I rinse all these open and that, that's it done now. It's weird because it looks like his eyes are open, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> He looks like the cat that's got the cream, that's what he looks like. I look like the cat who has the cream a lot. Hi, <laughs> 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 Can I open my eyes yet, Charlie? Yeah, you can now. Awesome. Ooh. Oh, wicked. Marcus and Noreen are in the sitting room. I feel now that I'm trying to, after your conversation, you, all the three of you had a conversation with me last night about certain people, like I feel like maybe you were trying to convince me to look at people in another light. So how do I know you weren't doing that? Because I didn't tell you to go out and do anything to anyone. It's hard though because you're telling me not to trust, basically not to trust Lisa, and Lisa's basically telling me not to trust you, so it's like, who the fuck am I meant to trust? Like? Well, like what I said, I haven't told you not to trust Lisa. I've told you to trust your instincts. Do what you think's right. Well, you know the way half it said that there was one person that was instigating all, she was killing off everybody? Yeah. 
And he said, this is going to happen, 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 and it's happened every single week. Yeah, because he's right. Well, how did he predict that? Because he knows what Lisa's like. He, you know, we've had the same, the same conversation as I've had with him, and he's seen it. You know, I don't know what influence she has over you lot, but you just seem mesmerised by it, and you just can't see how she manipulates people. Same last night as when it was all kicking off and I just saw her just sitting there smiling, loving it. Just thinking, right, look at see if Ash dig his hole, because see if Ash is up next week. And people always say, oh, she's so placid, she's so sweet, and she's so well, understanding. It's like... The only people, yes. Who's the only people she's gone off at? Me and Freddie, really. Mm -hmm. So we don't say that about her. And the other people who won't say that about her are the people who are either scheming with her and, you know, are her gang or are scared of her. Or just want a peaceful life. They go pee. Oh, I can feel my back there. Shall I give you a non-sexual rub? Uh, no, I'm okay, thanks. Nine thirty p.m. Halfwit, Noreen and Marcus are in the kitchen. Where did you come out with all your funny things? <laughs> I don't think so, Sunny. Only you. <laughs> when you were saying those things, all I could hear was blah, 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 blah. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. Because <laughs> all, all I see is red. All I saw was like a flame of red flames in front of me, and you were behind them. <laughs> I was like... If Freddie doesn't move now in a minute, I'm probably going to eat him. Uh-huh. <laughs> I would have started on your toes. You're funny, though. Mm. Funny little creature. Yes, indeed I am. He has, like, annoying but lovable characters, <laughs> isn't he? He's like a brother that you just... It's so annoying, but you still laugh at. Uh-huh. That's a good way. It's a good way of putting it. Why, thank you. The Annoying the but lovable. <laughs> Dog fierce Chris and Siavash are in the bedroom. So I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow. Um, Not gonna lie, but fucking hell, there's only one decent outcome of it, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. So you want fair outcome? Yeah. Well, there's two, but if it's down to just not justice, but if it's down to like fairness, fair play, then. The thing is, I do believe if the public say that person needs to go, there must be there must be a reason yeah. for whoever leaves. Do you mean? Yeah. But as I was saying to Sophie, once you are up and you don't go, mm. then you are like, okay, public wanted to keep me in. For mm. whatever reason. This is Big Brother. Would Marcus come to the diary room? Public wanted to keep me in. Mm. Just makes you feel better. That's where Freddie gets his confidence from, then, isn't it? Yeah, because he's been up fucking four times. And... <coughs> Hello, Marcus. How's your evening so far? It's all right, I suppose. Uh, not a lot's really happened. How do you feel about Friday? I haven't really thought about it, really. I do know that it's a day after Thursday and a day before Saturday. That much is true. Obviously, I want to stay and uh, be more friendly with Freddie and Noreen and uh, carry on just doing stuff. But at the same time, you know, I've been here five weeks. You know, I, I can take it on the chin if the public don't like me. What would be the best case scenario for you tomorrow evening? Uh, for me and Freddie to stay, um, and Chris or Charlie or Sophie, I wouldn't be as sad if any of them went, if Freddie went. Um, I've spent most of today just talking with him, just us two sitting down, and I've had one of the best days ever in here, just today, just sitting down, just talking and joking over what happened last night. So. A non-sexual back rub, anyone? I don't think so, Sonny Jim. 
Eviction Terminator Halfwit is attempting to crush all before him for the fifth time in a row. His opponents, a womanising window dresser, a dog-faced glamour girl, a lovesick wolf man, and Rodrigo's twinkly-eyed sparring partner. Will you end Halfwick's epic run, or is it first time up and first time out for one of his fellow housemates? Tonight's final piece of house action after the break! <laughs> Sixth eviction of Big Brother 2009. A solemn duty lies heavy on your shoulders, friends, as later on tonight, another housemate's going to walk the Big Brother mile. Chris, Marcus, Dogface, Charlie and Halfwit. Four of them will be granted a reprieve, but one of them is going dead. OK, so to Vic Charlie, call 09016-161604. 09016-161604. To Vic Dogface, call 09016-161615. 09016-161615. To Vic Halfwit, call 09016-161605. That's 09016-161605. To Vic Chris, call 09016-161607. That's 09016-161607. Or to Vic Marcus, call 09016-161609. 09016-161609. OK, time for our final bit of house action now. And it is indeed the final night for one of our housemates. Nine forty six PM. Rodrigo, Marcus and Noreen are in the garden. <laughs> well, Marcus, what is I'm not kick it, I'm a girl. <laughs> you need to do like this, look. <laughs> Hold by the finger. And good luck. Charlie, Carly and Lisa are in the living room. Oh, I'm, if I go, I miss this so much, you know. Okay. I will, I really will. Oh, you're it's so just going to totally the house. If you went... All your conversations... If, if he went to Hank, I would want to go. Being serious, because it would be shit. I would seriously be shit without you in here. I like our, who we vote with. Yeah, I do. I love it. I really do. If, not, if you, want, if you it, sort of stay in, funny. you want the certain people to stay in, because yeah. it's, that's it where you're having the fun. fun. Uh, that's it's where... Not, it's not bitchy, we just have fun. Yeah. That's why I came on Big Brother. I didn't come on to win it. Honestly, had me heart. I came on to have fun. Dog Fear, Sia Vash, and Chris are in the bedroom. I think if I think if you go on favourites to stay, I think it will go Charlie, you, then I'd well, hope. Why not me you... first? No, favourites to stay. Yeah. Because I think people like you like said, it's a girl. How many lads win it? <laughs> Usually and stuff. Uh, who had Charlie Daniels as a winner? The girl, girl's gonna win it this year. Who had Charlie Daniels winner like, like straight away? Yeah. Like a few yeah. people had him down as, to win it straight I off. I think as well. And then so one, then you, you. Then I'd like to think it was <laughs> me. Second to win? No, no. as in not stay to likelihood to not to go. Then half with then probably. Then half with Marcus. It's just like if it, if it, if it's go if if the only thing that I've done mm. is the conversation with Marcus, then I'm. S I, don't want to jinx myself, but it should be safe as eyes. Yeah. Even though I know Marcus and he's very nice and stuff, just to talk, people might think that he's like too loud and stuff. That's one of the factors for Marcus that could work against Marcus. When when you're up for eviction, you, honestly, you know you have like spare minutes of the day where you can just daydream. Yeah. Don't those those really. minutes are filled with your, being read out. your name being read out by yeah. Davina, everything. You don't have you don't have those you don't have like those hours that you w waste away. You don't have that if you if you've got a spare second, your you mind's not think, on yeah. family and for that it's on your name being read out. Yeah. Or if it's not on your name being read out, it's on reasons why you think it could be your name mm -hmm. being read out. It's always in, in my head. It's always my name being yeah. read out. Sophie says it's the same with her. Charlie says it's the same yeah, with it's him. Same for everyone. Not Freddie he's walking around like a proud cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this week should be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. 10.31pm. 
Marcus, Rodrigo and Noreen are in a sitting room. Well, one easy thing to say, uh, I did a thing at karate where you have to fight 100 people like in a row and it took like four hours and 20 minutes of non-stop fighting and it's like the ultimate test in karate to do. It's like if you can do that, you can do anything. And like when I finished, I'd gone through so many layers of skin on my feet that I kid you not, there was almost bones coming through underneath my feet. It's like, you know, we have a blister and it comes off. Mm. Imagine like you've gone through five blisters or something like that. Mm. And for like about four days afterwards, I had to crawl everywhere because I could, even if I, even if I felt air on my feet, it was just murder. It was like lava and broken glass being shoved right in. Some of the housemates are in the bedroom. Chris and Dog Fierce are discussing this week's eviction. Our mummies will be meeting tomorrow. I know, babe. I'll have to take my smelly dressing gown into the room tomorrow. You're really going to wear it? I'm not sitting there in my eviction outfit. I'm just wear a hoodie. Or a pull it over my head. No, my zip up hoodie. That'll probably cover all of you. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. I'll leave that with you if I go. So just keep it if I go. So you're gonna sniff it at night. Don't, don't joke about it because I know you will. <laughs> oh, I will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be outside waiting for you. I feel like when I first came in here, I feel all lonely. Yeah. When I first came in, I was like. What your fear if I get? Twelve fourteen AM Rodrigo is in the bathroom. The rest of the housemates are in the bedroom. the old housemate hiding under the duvet scare the living daylights out of somebody else in the complete darkness ploy 
That's hilarious, isn't it? It's brilliant. <gasps> anyway, lines are about to close. There's an eviction-shaped hole that one of our housemates has got to fill. Yes, Charlie, Dogface, Halfwit, Chris or Marcus, one of them will be leaving the house and your TV screens very soon in our second show of the night. Now, I'm back at 10.35 when I'll be joined by All Saint Melanie Blatt and psychologist Geoffrey Beatty. I'll see you then. This feels like how the final night will feel if you're in the house. Mm. There's like so many people are up, everybody's like involved in it. No, times it'd be fucking ten. Mm. That's Half how it feel. Yeah. yeah, exactly. The thing is with the final thing, you know everybody's leaving anyway. That aye, night everybody's aye. gonna leave, so no one's gonna be nervous. It'd be, it'd be more exciting yeah, then. Yeah, like, oh, it's like a happy thing, not like a oh I'm yeah. gonna go. Aye.